eighty eight news. Let's now cross back live to the county of Busia, a county that has been tipped by pundits to uh, have one of the hottest gubernatorial contests in the ODM primaries. That is tomorrow. Duncan Haimba speaking to the Funula Member of Parliament, Paul Otomo, wants to be governor and the deputy governor, Kizito Wangalwa. Back to you, Duncan. Yes, uh, Ben, uh, welcome back, uh, viewers, because we are the second critical uh, bit of this particular interview. And uh, Deputy Governor would want to know, we expected uh, the governor to be with us, and that was the confirmation, as late as 8 p.m., only to be surprised that around 8 that, that is not showing up, but we appreciate the fact that you are here. Why has the governor decided not to show up? Because we expected uh, to have the man, Mwishimi Otoma, go head to head on some specific issues perhaps what has informed the change of the governor and we know that as uh, 7 p.m he was in town uh, i am aware that uh, the governor is still the governor of busia and he has a team i am his principal deputy and he has delegated me to represent him in this show and therefore i am here duly discharging duties that the governor would otherwise be discharging mm -hmm. You've had five years in office, now that you've said you are his principal. Uh, what is it that you think that uh, people of Busia tomorrow, particularly some say that ODM is the party that uh, owns or calls shots in Busia. So by and large, whoever clinches the ticket tomorrow could be as good as elected more so because there are those that perceive Busia as an ODM stronghold. For the five years that you've been in the office, now that you're the principal assistant, what is it that you think you need to be given another chance to achieve? Or what is it that you've achieved in five years that you think you need another term in office? We haven't had five years. We have had four years uh, and maybe just about a month. And I must say that uh, we as pioneers, just like any other county, we had to establish the foundation for, for this county. We have the plan set out. And uh, whether we are elected or not, the plants in the county, the structures in the county are now intact. That was a duty that we have ably uh, performed. So go in any department, there are programs that are running. I can uh, allude to the fact that uh, look at the programs that we have started. Programs to build the cooperative sector, programs to advance uh, mechanization and value addition in agriculture, uh, programs to enhance learning in uh, early childhood education we have the infrastructure in place though not complete we have the teachers in place we are boosting the medical sector we have a few uh, dispensaries and health centers that we have now opened that were not open mm -hmm. we have employed further staff we have put up um, a medical training center we have collaborated with uh, the universities to set up satellite campuses uh, within this uh, within this county. Our youth polytechnics, we are now trained teachers there, teachers that we have hired. So look at the programs as ongoing. We are the only county that has uh, in place more than 110 solar-powered boreholes that are uh, providing water. Mm -hmm. I can assure you when we had this long drought, uh, maybe mm -hmm. a few of the boreholes that were the older type were, were dry, but some of the boreholes that we, we put up were the ones that were sustaining were water provision within our, our county. So this is work in progress, and uh, we will build on that uh -huh. to be able to advance the progress of the people of Busia. Well, thank you very much. That's Deputy Governor Kizito Wangalu, of course, enumerating the highlights that they've been able to achieve he says it's not five years, it's four years and a month, potato, potato, yes. Mweshimiwa, you've been a member of parliament for two terms, a former sports minister, and my colleague Hassan Juma asks, what is it that you have under your sleeves that you'd want to do in terms of sports? And in a nutshell, they've enumerated what they've achieved and they believe that they want another term in office. What is it that you think is new that you want to be given that opportunity? Should tomorrow, in the event that uh, you carry the day because many say this is an ODM zone and whoever emerges victorious tomorrow is as good as elected or re-elected. Thank you. First of all, I have to 
tell you, I don't know, you want me to answer what I did in the Ministry of Sports or you want no, me no, to no, talk no, about no. Busia County? Are, yes, this Busia yeah, County and I think uh, for me, first of all, we have to understand that today we are dealing with county governments and not county councils. And that has been the fruit of devolution that you know Kenyans have paid a very heavy price. And if you look at Busia, is one of the counties whereby the opposition party, ODM, formed both the government and even majority in the county assembly. Now, we pride ourselves like people who really want to show the other counties and even the country on what we can do if we have mandate to do that. And the clarion call everywhere to me is simplified. Three enemies, poverty, ignorance, and disease. Now, when you hear, although unfortunately, as you say, the governor is not here and I may not fault him, uh, because as much as he's articulating that they have been here for four years, you know very well that they spent most of those years wrangling. Uh, in fact, I think he was the biggest critic uh, for the governor. Uh, they, they were really wrangling. We really tried to put them together. And I think now maybe because of elections, they have come together. So I'm a bit surprised. But going back to the key thing, if you look at the health sector, look at what is happening in Busia Level 5 Hospital. It's stinking. It's almost supposed to be closed up. Look at how the town looks like. They have been fencing all over. The road infrastructure is collapsed. The bus parks are not working. If you look at what he's talking about, the cooperative sector, they have just been talking that money was stolen. We have never seen what is coming out, 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 out of those kind of activities. If you look at water, mm -hmm. we had very serious water programs, the Malakisi and the one that we had in the Nsisenyo or Busijo, mm -hmm. which can really sort out the water issue by mm -hmm. just pumping that water on the hills. So what is this new in uh, 30 seconds that you want to come tomorrow and perhaps say if tomorrow you... I want, I want to put a firm foundation that is going to be called a government in Busiato that the government runs. It is not a one-man show the way the governor has been doing. Even his ministers, he doesn't sit with them. So he doesn't even benefit from their wise counsel. So this is not a county that has been run the way the government is supposed to be run. A lot of these people are just now being enticed to support him politically. But deep in their heart, if you ask them, they know that this person has no abilities to take this county anywhere. And that's the reason we say we are going to move in for that. And I want also to assure you, this is not about tribe. Because we are the ones who voted in Ojamong. It's not even the community which he comes from. So you cannot start hiding behind that. We are just saying you have not performed, you have not delivered, and you must go home. And I can assure you that he'll be going home tomorrow. Well, uh, that is uh, the aspiring governor, of course, immediate former member of parliament for Funula, Dr. Polo Toma. Thank you very much for gracing, for giving us that opportunity. Deputy Governor Kizito Wangalwa has also been uh, there to represent the governor, of course, uh, the principal assistant, articulating what they've been able to do and why they need more time. Well, tomorrow, KTN will be trying to follow up events as they unfold bit by bit as we give you nothing but the whole story. We'll be here the whole day to follow the events, then give you, at the end of the day, we'll be able to tell you how the cookie will finally crumble. On behalf of the, the crew here that have uh, uh, actually managed to uh, relay this event live and our host, the Quill Hotel, this is Duncan Haimba. Over to you, Ben Kitili.